Hi everyone, it's Kirsten Red. How's everyone doing? Today is a uh, Saturday. Sorry, I'm a day late um, getting my my preview out for you guys. Please forgive me. Um, yeah, so this is just a, a little, well, I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole entire preview or if this is like a half a preview. It might be a half a preview. I hate to say it. Hmm. I'm just like that. No. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, once again, I'm Kirsten Red. You're at Kirsten Red V Sale. And um, I'm going to be doing my very first um, Bougie Buy It Now with Gina Gay. And when is that? It is coming up super soon. It is um, Tuesday, the 30th of November, which is this Tuesday coming up. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I will have her information linked below, and I hope I see everyone there. Um, it's been it's been a, a thing trying to get all this stuff together, so I hope I have a little bit for everyone, um, price ranges for everyone, and if I don't have everything for everyone, then hopefully next time I'll do better. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Um, I don't even know where to start. Well, I don't know. Let's start with the ring because I see a beautiful ring right here. So, like I said, this is, I'm not going to get into prices, sizes, you know, anything like that right now. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what to expect. Um, well, obviously, I'll talk a little bit about it. You know, sterling silver. This is vintage Navajo. Sterling silver, a turquoise. So, this is going to be one of the lovely items. Well, I guess I can tell you the size of this. I don't know. This one's a six and a half. Okay, so there's one guy right there. Let's see, should we stick with rings? I don't know, let's see. Um, okay, I'll do this one. This is a really pretty, uh, well, pretty to some people, it's brutalist, it's very brutalist. Let me zoom in here, whoa, there we go. Um, brutalist sterling silver. This guy is a size, oops, a size six. It's one of those things, you look at it enough, you start seeing things, you know, just like the clouds. Excuse my fingers, oh my goodness, anyway. Okay, there's that guy. Okay, let's move on over to this. This is a Egyptian Revival bracelet with scarabs. This guy will be there. Okay. Oh, we got this. Oh, I didn't bring my bust out here. Mm, my bad. Okay, well, I'll try. This is a necklace. Egyptian Revival. This is a long guy. Do you want me to go run and get my bust? Okay, I'm going to pause you guys. Oh, I hope I don't screw this up. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. If I mess this up because editing and I are not yet acquainted yet, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause you. I'm back, oh my goodness. Am I doing this right? Okay, well, here's a bust. Let's see if I can do this any better for you. I'm just doubling her up so you can see. There we go. Okay, so there's that guy. She will be there on Tuesday. What else? Hmm. Oh my goodness, this thing, okay. This is um, a vintage Napier Riposé cuff bracelet. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's just, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oh gosh, I have to do that a little bit more smooth. I'm so sorry. There we go. You see the cherub there? Isn't she incredible? Well, I think she's incredible. And where's her signature? She does have one. She is signed up. Oh. Right there. Now, interestingly enough, um, she does test positive for sterling, yet she's not marked. So I'm not going to sell it as a sterling. Um, Napier did do a sterling, but I'm pretty sure they were marked. So I just think she's incredibly heavily plated. Like, incredibly. Because <laughs> um, I tested her and I had someone who's a little better at that kind of stuff than me test her and she tested positive but she's not marked so anyway she's gorgeous all the same so she will be there for sure 
Okay, um, where are we gonna go from here? Let's go to this guy, let's see. Now this is a, a mirrored, she's pretty bright, mirrored silver tribal necklace. In like a, like a, a real light, dusty blue gray color. She's really beautiful. Is that a little better? I hope so. Okay. So there she is. And I'll show you the. It's just, you know, little, little hook guy there. And I will clean up. Oh, maybe I'll clean her up just a little bit because now I'm looking at her. I'm like, wow, she is a little, <laughs> a little dirty up there. So, but I don't want to clean her too, too much. But If and when someone purchases her, if you want me to clean her, I will, okay? Anyway, so that's, she will be there. I don't want to spend too much time. <sighs> okay, I love this, that one. I was very excited to be able to purchase her for this. Um, let's see here. Okay, Amber, uh, I know you either love it or hate it, right? Let's see here. Got this real nice vintage one, let's see. She's fun, I like her, just because she's wild. And she does have, um, I'm not there, the screw clasp thingy. And she glows beautifully. I did not bring my black light, but the Tuesday evening, I'll, I'll have my list, so I'll make sure I'm prepared with, you know, everything to show y'all okay so there's that real pretty girl pretty girl so oh my gosh I'm talking to the amber like she's my puppy <laughs> oh boy okay I'm around jewelry a little too much sometimes I think well is there ever too much I don't know okay let's see here this is fun this is a uh Ritma Ritma peekaboo Swiss um Necklace watch. Necklace watch? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get her over here. So, you know, she looks like this. She's in remarkable, remarkable condition. Like, ugh, yeah, pretty incredible. And then, here we go. And guess what? I did wind her. She's a wine. She's manual. I wound her yesterday, and I only paid attention to her for about an hour, and she helped. She kept up her time, but it was only, you know, I only paid attention for an hour, like I said. Um but that made me happy. I love hearing the little sound of the tick, 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 you know. Anyway, she's in great, great condition. But I will later, I guess, try to wind her again and um, I'll try to pay a little bit more attention. Um, I don't think I'll be able to pay a full 24 hour attention just because I've got a child, I've got dogs, a husband, you know, all that stuff. But she's so pretty. Anyway, she'll be there. She will be there. Okay, let's see. Does anyone like coins? Coin well, we all like coins, but you know, the coin jewelry. Yeah, chica, chica, chica. Got this great piece. She finally came in. I don't know what's going on, but FedEx has bringing stuff to me like weeks late, and some of the stuff unfortunately came to me destroyed, like smashed, stomped on. Oh, yeah, so I'm dealing with that. And then the mail, unfortunately, things are being delivered to the incorrect addresses. Um, and I've been fortunate enough that they've been able to locate my my stuff. Um, and it's just because the actual delivery people are really underappreciated. Underappreciated? And um, they work their butts off. And I kind of was told what's going on a little bit. Um, and some of it just has to do with, you know, systems and how it works and how the new people don't hardly get they don't get trained they're like forced out there with like a week of training and um are told do it do it do it you have to you know have all these deliveries by this certain time and you know and they're under a lot of pressure and stress and because they're not being trained properly they're 
they're messing up. Maybe <laughs> we're only human and they're just under a lot of pressure and stress. And uh, they said that, you know, they're always told customer service is, you know, the most important, yet their bosses really don't care. And that's a shame because um, we're all suffering for it, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm going off on a little tantrum just because I just received two orders from two separate places, both with FedEx and both were completely completely like smashed it looked like literally someone with steel toe boots were just jumping on the packages like they were making wine in a barrel my rings were kaputzed um sorry that's like a yiddish term just smashed destroyed anyway um and uh you know i contact you know but it's a weekend it's a holiday you know and who knows when any of it's gonna get resolved i mean yes there's many more important things to be concerned about but i really wanted to bring you some really cool stuff anyway um, let's move on to, what should we move on to? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Okay, how about this? This is gorgeous. This is not for the faint of heart just because it is a heavy duty. Heavy duty. Indigenous people slash native to America's turquoise disc heavy. Like, I'm going to weigh it. I don't know how many grams it is right off the top of my head. Um... You know, bench beads. Oops. Yeah, you can see the. Maybe you can see that a little bit. Better. Can I zoom in? There we go. See that. It's graduated. It gets much bigger down. And the turquoise is just remarkable. I am not a hundred percent sure, but I am. I want to say 70. Let's stick with 70% sure that this is Kingman Turquoise from the Kingman, Arizona mines. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You ready? Okay, well, it's different. It's slightly different. Oh, don't listen to me. I just, <laughs> I was trying to be cool and slick there. It didn't work, sorry. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I will weigh it and find out how many grams it is. Okay, how about, let's see, Goldette? Do people like Goldette? I like Goldette. And how about Goldette that is in mint condition? If I could get it on here, it's, you know, it's the triple strand, so they're a little difficult to navigate when you're pulling it out of a bag to put on a little bust. Oh my goodness, okay, well. <laughs> Bear with me, I do apologize. What? What? Tangles and I, oh my goodness. Okay, well, you don't even have to take my word for how beautiful when she's not tangled. Even when she's tangled, she's quite lovely, to be honest with you. Okay, here we go. I did show her in one video. Um, I wasn't quite ready to sell her, sell her, oh my goodness, um, part with her. Um, I've never worn her. I like to look at her, but it's time, you know? It is time. Beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, sorry, I was getting lost in her. Um, and she is signed. Anyway, just a really lovely piece. I'm not even in frame. Ah, there we go. There we go. Is that better? Oh my gosh. Once again, I'm still working on the setup. My husband, who's actually a pro at this stuff, just kind of leaves it to me. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Um, actually, he doesn't. He'll show me, but he'll show me like five days before I have to do a video or setup, and I, I don't remember how I'm supposed to set it up. So I can't blame him always, only sometimes. Okay, let's see here. Let's do another ring. Let's do... Okay, let's do it right. This is a, a really incredible, a little odd. Never seen a ring like this before. Um, yeah. <laughs> is this upside down? Maybe. Yes, she is. There we go. So, I'm not sure how well you can see this. Let's see. It's inlaid stone all up in here. We've got a little tribal mask. Um, this is really hard, hard, like petrified wood. 
It's all encased in sterling silver. And she's incredible. Well, she doesn't look so great on me right now, but let's see. Just a cool, cool, guarantee you probably won't come across another one of these again. Can't guarantee it, but I can sort of guarantee it. And my little dog is a barker, and I do apologize. She's my little, my little uncontrollable rescue. Anyway, there's that guy. Um, let's see here. What else should I show you for today? Hmm. We have, this is a sterling and green turquoise. This is pretty old. Um, it's a cuff. This is made by uh, Thunderbird Sterling. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, um, but they are quite the pioneers when it comes to this beautiful type of jewelry. Is that the Thunderbird? And here's the inside. And then their stamp is oh, upside down. I'm good at that. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful piece. These are highly collectible. You can look them up. You have plenty of time to do a little research. There we go. We got this guy who's coming to you. Let's see. Where should I go from here? Hmm. I have one. Where are we? One brooch. Um, I'm not a huge brooch gal. Um, but when I have a pretty piece, I have a pretty piece. And I cannot deny when I have a pretty piece. So this is um, near I say antique. Okay. Um, it is sterling silver. I'm going to test. I have not tested. I'm pretty sure it's glass. Okay. Uh, but I will test it to make sure. Um, it has a trombone closure. Here's the back. Too beautiful. The lighting not very good. There we go. Once again, she's sterling silver. Um, for Tuesday, I will have the date her her dated um, within probably like eight years of her date. I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, I don't have that today for you, but I will. Okay, so that's the only brush I'm bringing to the bougie buy it now. Um, hmm, what do I want to show? I'm not sure. I'm not going to show you everything today. I, you want to have a couple surprises, don't you? I'm assuming you might. You might. Um, okay, how about this? This guy is a uh, copper. Don't know if people are. I love copper. It's a Thai copper bracelet. She's very cool, very, very cool. And this is the type of copper that is treated. So like, for instance, like when I would make a copper bracelet, which I've done before, I think I've shown you a few of them. Um, I only treated them as far as the heat treating and everything like that, but it was, it's pretty much not, I don't know if it's hundred percent pure copper, but it's close to it, okay? Um, which makes it a little softer. Um, Sort of, it's, well, a little bit. It depends how thick the copper is. Um, but I am not using alloys with it and I'm not using special treatments where it's not gonna tarnish. This type of copper um, is done so it is treated so it should not tarnish a great deal. I'm not saying it's not going to tarnish, okay? But it shouldn't turn you green unless you um, have an allergy to copper. Um, maybe over time, because the back does look, remember, these are all, you know, antiques, vintage. None of these are new, new items. So um, you can see how it has uh, has a little bit of the blackened in there. Um, but I'm super sensitive to a lot of metals. So I put this on, and I had no reaction to it whatsoever. So that was pretty cool. So I have sold before um, copper jewelry, newer copper jewelry, like rings that they have like a magic alloy in it, and they don't turn you green. 
Um, I don't know what that magic alloy is. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's in here, but considering I didn't blister and peel and turn black and green, that's kind of a good sign. <laughs> good sign for anyone, I would assume. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, I've got this really beautiful, beautiful. Ready? Look at her. And she is a large, I really try to uh, accommodate different sizes. Um, it's difficult for me to get larger sizes, um, I guess because I have tiny fingers. Um, and so, it, it, I don't know, I know where to get smaller <laughs> size rings. That sounds ridiculous. But anyway, this guy, gal, guy, ring, um, she measures about an eight and a half. Um, she is oval, if you can see. So when you put her on your... Mandrel, mandrels are round, so you'll see gaps on the side. So it's sort of like this, and you'll see that there's more space. So it'll read a seven, but there's no way it's a seven. So I had my helpful friend come over who has larger fingers than I, and uh, we took rings in her size, and then she tried this on, and we figured it out. So it's about an eight and a half, <laughs> to make a long story short, which evidently I'm not good at doing. <laughs> anyway, so... She's pretty cool. She's old. She's very old. Um, but don't worry, smaller fingered girls, gals, guys, whoever. I have other rings too. Um, okay, I'll just pull one out. Let's see, what's this guy? Okay, this is a, oops, sorry. Okay, so we have a sterling silver and pearl bypass ring. Beautiful filigree on her. See all the flowers? Oh boy, okay, let's see. Sorry, I shouldn't wear rings if I'm gonna be trying on rings for people, okay. So she'll be there. Okay, let's see. Go back to some funky, funky costumey, but vintage costumes. Got this lovely. I don't have her. She's has this little dangle here. So she can be obviously adjusted to any length or almost any length. Here we go. Oh, she's so pretty. And this, the chain has a nice weight, but this is very light. Um, some people like that, some people don't. I'm okay with that. Necklaces sometimes tend to feel like they're choking me. <laughs> so um, I'm okay with something that's a little bit lighter. But overall, she's not light, but she's lighter than you would think. That's all I'm trying to say. She is unmarked piece, but all the same, she's beautiful. Now, at one point, it looks like she did have um, a maker's tag, but it is no longer there. So I can't pretend to know who it is. Okay, so we got that beautiful. Oh, and she's from the late uh, 60s, early 70s. Just, just throwing that out there. Okay, where else? Um, hmm. Oh, okay, here's a little ring for any people that have tiny fingers like me. Okay, she is um, sterling silver and moonstone. And she is a 4.75. So just, she's just under a five. And for people who have bigger fingers, don't forget, you know, I mean, I love knuckle, you know, uh, half finger rings. I mean, this is too big for me for a half finger ring, but not for some people. And I like her because she is substantial, like she's long 
and she's really well made. I mean, she is a, a thick, heavy, but she's still very feminine and not overly bulky. And some people like that, you know. I, I like it all. <laughs> but um, some people feel overwhelmed, especially when they're petite, wearing these huge, gigantic pieces. And this is a piece that will look substantial, but, um, well, because it is substantial, but it's not going to be overpower overpowering your hand. Beautiful. I'll bring that to you guys, too. Hmm. Should I stop here? Let me think. I have more to show, but I don't want to give it all away. I'll do, like, I don't know. I'll do one, two more pieces. Okay. So this is a real pretty um, sterling and amber carved rose. And she's on a paper clip styled sterling silver chain. And her findings are really pretty. Let's see if I can. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Such a pretty little piece. It's not even that little. I mean, it's not huge. But it's, it's a nice size piece. Beautiful. Great gift. It's really, I don't know. I mean, obviously you have to like Amber, but there's something just very elegant about this. A little Art Nouveau. Just beautiful. Okay, she'll be there. Hmm. Okay, now for all the mama. Well, you don't have to be a mama, but I don't know. This, this used to be mine. This was... Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into the whole shebang of it. Okay, but she's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Okay, so it's an old pocket watch that was turned into a, um, a locket. Um, and she is sterling silver, and she's on a pocket watch fobby thing, but it's all sterling silver and glass pearls. Okay, so it's not, they're not quote-unquote real pearls. Okay. Um, now, you can wear her long, super long. Or she does have a little pokey hook so you can pop her wherever you want and double her up. Let's see. Um, and if you'd like, I will polish this for you. Um, it's just it's just old patina. So I didn't know. I don't want to, I mean, the inside's, um, inside's really shiny. Not quite sure. I never polished that. But anyway, um, this was given to me. Um, Anyway, I, I have a hard time with necklaces. It's just one of my, my issues I have, um, and I love necklaces. But this has literally been sitting, and it's just such a beautiful piece, and it can make somebody very, very happy um, to have their loved ones close to them um, in a really cool piece, you know? Like, it was once an old pocket watch from the 20s, converted into a necklace. Beautiful. So I'll bring her to you as well. Okay, well, let's see. Am I, did I tease you guys enough? I do have more, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might want to, hmm. Okay, I'll bring one more. No, one more, two more, one more. Hmm. I don't know. I wish I had someone here to tell me. How about, okay, I'll bring one more. Um, this is a Sajin. Oh, it's loud. Sorry, it's going to be crinkly and loud for a minute. Sajin uh, torque necklace with a pendant. Sterling silver. Let's see, where is it? Let me show you where. And her mark is right there. And, you know, these are just one of those great things that you can just, you know, put on whatever enhancer or charm you'd like. And she's very pretty. Look at that. Look at that glow. Okay. 
I think that's going to be what I'm going to show you today. I mean, I do have quite a few more lovelies um, hiding out, you know, amber, another amber bracelet, butterscotch amber, and more bangs, and a couple more necklaces and stuff. But I'm going to leave you with, with the few things that I showed you today. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, my name is Kirsten Red Resales. I do appreciate you. Um, if you ever need to get a hold of me, please feel free to at kirstenred56 at gmail.com. I also, can I zoom in? Let's see. La, la. I have a Poshmark star, store, Poshmark at Bubby's Bling. You can also visit me at Instagram at Bubby's Bling. Anyway, thank you again so much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, my bougie buy it now is going to be a Gina Gay on Tuesday, the 30th of November, which is this Tuesday coming up. It's 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm in the state that doesn't celebrate, celebrate, is that the word? Doesn't participate in daylight savings. So if you're in my neck of the woods, then that would be 6 p.m. <laughs> I don't even know what my neck of the woods is called anymore. It's not mountain, I don't know figure it out. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. Can't wait to see you guys on Tuesday. And maybe, maybe I'll come in one more time and show you the rest of the stuff. But I want to have a little bit of, you know, surprises here and there. Anyway, thank you so much. Bye-bye.